Towards it is that one was solved a couple of weeks ago, on October the 13th. Uh, victory, I call it like it. He said, I've come to help you. He said, I've come to help you and bring about a demonstration of the resurrection and the victory, the victory over death, that through the blood in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right. Where there's an agreement. He said, where there's an agreement among a few, I will help, I will help in showing forth this mighty power Thank you. to destroy the Thank works, you. to destroy the works of the enemy. In, specifically in families of those who have made covenant with the Most High. Amen. Did y'all hear that? Amen. Covenant with the Hallelujah. Most High. That's good. We're talking about, we're, we're going to do the Lord's table. I'm going to teach on it a little bit first and do that. So you're probably getting out early. <laughs> So, we've already had fun. Amen. Praise God, we just got online. Praise God, took the watching. Amen. Oh, I want to stress that 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 uh, that that angel said that he said he's come to destroy, say destroy, destroy the works of the enemy. In the families, say families. Families. Now that's I believe this individual families, but there's us as a corporate body. Amen. As a family, we're all family. So we're a family. We are a family. That's right. Uh, especially to specifically qualifying those that have made covenant, made covenant with the Most High. That's right. Covenant with the Most High. So this is, this of course, this is the covenant meal that we take. This is a covenant meal. Amen. Uh, there, I've come to the, the belief that I mean, if, if our faith is activated when we receive the what we call the table, the, the Eucharist, the giving of thanks, the bread and the and the, 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 the wine. That, you know, some people say, well, it's symbolic. Good teaching tool. I have one friend that uses it. He says it's a teaching tool. Uh, or some, some you know, the Catholics believe it's actually a transfiguration that becomes the body and blood of Jesus. Uh, but I, I've come to believe this, that literally there's, <laughs> you need you, you to teach. You know? But I believe it, it when you exercise your faith in what Jesus did, Amen. That something that something transmutes in those elements right. of bread and, and juice, in our case, juice, and literally becomes uh, it activate it activates Amen. activates the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So, that, so I want to admonish you, you know, I know we, the kids like to come up and, and mess that what you need, and that's all right, God love you. But, but the, the freak this thing as a, as a holy thing. Yeah, okay? Amen. You know, this is not a ritual, this is not something we just do once a month, or whatever, because it's on the schedule <clears throat> or tradition. I believe, I believe the taking of the Lord's table is if you do it in, with understanding by the Holy Spirit and with faith, it's one, one of the most powerful uh, technologies that the Lord has ever imparted to the body of Christ to, uh, to facilitate what Jesus has done through his death, his burial, and his resurrection. And when I say his death, not only his death on the cross, but his, his, the period of time that he spent at the whipping post shedding, being stripes laid on his back. So many times people push that out the scene. Before he ever went to the cross, he'd, be, he'd already begun his redemptive work. You know, right. when he put the crown of thorns on his head, blood was shed. Anytime you see in the word where blood was shed 
on Jesus. And there was there was a redemptive act being sealed. Sure. When he put the crown of thorns on him, thorns is a sign of a curse, right? Mm -hmm. And and in the in the this is where the curse lights is on the head. That's why we put on the helmet of salvation. Blood was shed. There was blood shed for the redemption of the curse. You know, the curse of mental illness, the curse of, uh, of, of any type of mental problem, whatever it is. <clears throat> now don't, I mean, I'll tell you, don't get it, listen to me very carefully. You have to receive this by faith. Everything in the kingdom of God operates by faith. And when I say faith, that's when you believe it in your heart, God speaks it into your heart, and then you, you take some kind of action with your mouth by declaring it, decreeing it, or, or, or an action of, in faith. You know what an action of faith is? It's like turning the light switch on. If you believe there's electricity in the, in the house, you go and turn the switch on. You understand? And something about that act of faith, it, it demonstrates, it, it's the evidence it's the evidence, the Hebrews 11 says, it's the evidence of things that are not seen. It's the evidence of, of things that are hoped for, that are the things that you want, you know? But when you when you act on it, it's not something you're hoping for, more something you believe, you, you believe it's there, and you act on it, and it activates. I read last night, it, it's a simple, just a Jewish rabbi talking about it, it says, when you pray, he said, you must believe, and this sounded familiar to me, he said, you must believe that you have it. Amen. I don't know Rabbi said that in Mark 11, yeah. 24. Amen. He said, he said, when you pray, he said, it's essential. He's just explaining, just, just simple. He said, it's essential that when you pray, you believe that you already have it, that you have it. Amen. Because it is as it is above, and it comes to below. But it's already yours in heaven. Those body parts were already yours in heaven. Yeah. They're laid up for you. The Lord said, "I shall supply all your needs according to His riches in the glory." In glory. That's not just with you to apply that to finances or money. money. But I'm telling you what, it's body parts. It's yeah. it's 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 how homes, it's whatever whatever that you have, have legitimate need for in your life, he has it's already in the heavens. Amen. Yeah. Come on. You understand this. It's a great, wonderful thing to be able to. I get I think that, that the Lord takes people, you know, like myself and, and shows us things because because it'd be, uh, we don't we have a hard time with faith. I don't, you, you know, I always, you know, the people, you, you say you have to see it to believe it. Well, sometimes, you know, the Lord has shows me stuff just so I can believe it. You know, mm -hmm. but, you know, we're not looking for, we're looking, you know, we walk by faith and not by sight. We're not looking for visions. We're not looking. I expect them, but I'm not, I'm not following after them. Nope. Amen. Amen. It's a, it's a grace, a blessing. It's a gift that, that the Lord, you know, just blesses me. And, and I don't believe He's a respecter of persons. I believe that if you desire that, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go around, you know, just, you know, looking for stuff. But I would, I would embrace in my heart that, 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 the, that it is a definite possibility that the Lord is going to show you something. Amen. Amen. So I don't know how to quite explain that you know how to you don't go chasing stuff because nope. right. you can find, probably be facilitated by something else. That's right. But but be open to to know that this is not impossible. Amen. That all things are possible to him who believes. So start out, you just believe in God, Lord. If you just say, Lord, say what you Lord, if you want me to see something, I believe you're well able to show me. Amen. Amen. And I'm open for you, you Jesus, you, Jesus. to show me, show me the true Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. 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 My sheep know my voice, the voice of another, they will I follow. Amen. 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 So there's a couple of mail for here. Let's read this. I know I've read this a lot to you, but 
Like, like the, I heard a man say that if you say, well, I, if you say, catch yourself saying this, well, I've heard that before, then you need to hear it again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, my wife has told me she loves me for the life. We've been married 47 years, and I, and I still, I don't tire of her telling me that she loves me. Uh, you know, I said, well, you told me that four years ago. <laughs> Are you following me? If you, if, you, if you say, well, I've heard that, I've heard that before, then that's a real, that's a, hey, here's your son. You ain't got it. That's right. Because you rejoice in it. How, how could you not rejoice Amen. in the revelation of what Jesus did for you? Amen. How could you not rejoice in the fact that he shed his blood for you? Yes. How could you not rejoice that he went through that suffering in order that you might be not have to go through it? Amen. Amen. That by his strife, that he bore your sickness and carried your disease, your pain in his own body. In his own body. Now, now, now give me, give me right now. This is not automatic. <clears throat> I'm not a Calvinist. <laughs> and if you don't want to count it, you know, I, I don't believe this stuff is this stuff is done. But he, it, it must be received by faith. But. But I do believe that we live according to Galatians 2. The Apostle Paul says, he says, he says, the life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Some of your translations say, in the Son of God. If you look it up in the original language, you, you, can, you can do it this way. You can change it. In or and you don't think it means what in or of. One is your faith in him. One is his faith in you. Are you following me? Now, I, I, I've, always, I've always believed this. I live by the faith of the Son. It's the faith of the Son of God. Amen. That it's his faith in me. It's his faith in me. It's his faith in me. Right. It's not my, see, that, that takes a, the burden off me. It's his faith in me. Now I have to engage that faith and put faith in the faith, but it's his faith. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the faith. That you didn't, and you didn't either. You didn't have the faith to get born again. Yeah. God gave you faith. He said, you're saved by grace through faith. And that, and that, what? That what? Yeah. Some people say it's the grace. Now he says, uh, that faith. The faith in that not of your own, least right. you should boast. So if you're put, if you're living by faith in the Son of God, then you have reason to boast. Well, I've got, I've got more faith than you do. But if you, if you put, if you translate it properly, faith of the Son of God, <clears throat> God's no respecter of persons, and that, and that faith, faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the rhema of God, the spoken word of God, through your your intimate fellowship with with Him. And this is very interesting. How many have ever heard of Jesus say this? He said, "In that day, you come to me," and uh, He said, <clears throat> I, "I to paraphrase this. You, I, I believe you understand what it is." He said, "In that day, you come to me, you know, and uh, I, and I'll say to you," He said, "Depart from me." You workers of unrighteousness or iniquity, for I never knew you. And their reply was this. He said, Lord, did we not cast out devils in your name? Did we not raise the sick? Did we not do these miracles in your name? But he said, nevertheless, he said, depart from me, for I never knew you. Now that freaks some people out. It freaked me out. <clears throat> you understand what he's talking about? Of course, Jesus is a Jew. Because he's probably speaking Aramaic, which is very similar to Hebrew. Mm -hmm. But the word no, the word no, depart from me for I never knew you, would probably be something akin to yada, which means to have an intimate relation. If you want to get down, down and dirty on it, I'm not trying to get it, but it means to have to come into a sexual union with. 
Now, I know we're, we're not having sexual union with Jesus. What we're talking about is there's an interaction in the spirit where you, you have intimacy with Jesus. You, you get close to him. Just as a husband does a bride, and and y'all know what y'all heard about the verse in Asia. There's a seed that goes from the husband into the bride, into her womb, and it creates a pregnancy which she carries, she carries full term. And then it's birth. Now get now understand this. So he said, he said, you, you, I never knew you. He said, what he was talking about, he said, you did all these things in my name, but there were never things that were birthed out of intimacy with me. There were never things that, that I, I put in you as we were in intimate fellowship. Are y'all following me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, in other words, whatever is born, the, the Apostle John understood this. He said, so whatsoever is born of God, mm-hmm. whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Amen. We're talking about victory today, right? Amen. He said, whatever is born of God is over. So what he's actually saying, well, let's just get a mind here. What's he saying? Born. Whatever is born of God. If it's born of God, then God had to, had to have some kind of intimacy and intercourse with you in, the, in your spirit and able to transmit his seed into you, which would then, that which would be born, would be born of God, right? Amen. right. Amen. There's a lot of things born of God. I haven't heard this person say this. They, the, the Lord showed them this in, in like a vision. <clears throat> and, and I actually said to him, I said, who you been sleeping with? Cause, Cause, that ain't my baby. That's right. Yeah, there. Now that's a sad thing that, that that folks. I'm talking about. You can have big ministries, little ministries, whatever kind of ministries, whatever, and have the Lord come to you and say, "Who's whose baby is that?" Are y'all following me? Mm-hmm. Are you? This is too much for you. Mm-hmm. Whose baby is that? Because I'm telling you right now, what's born of God is going to, what's born of God, the Father, he's going to, he's like our good daddy, he's going to take care of it. Amen. Amen. He's, he's not, he's not, he's going to take care of his kids. And when I say kids, I'm talking what's born. Now we're talking about, we're talking about ministry now, we're talking about, I know he's going to take care of you, all right? But what, he's going to take care of whatever he's told you to do. Whatever he's planted in your heart, he's going to provide for it. He's going to protect it. I don't mean it doesn't mean the devil's not going to try to destroy it. He always does. He always tries to cause some miscarriage or a pre abortion. That's see, people don't understand. If people would understand spiritual principles and reality, they would understand why abortion is not right. Because it, it's not right just simply because it's murder. But it's also, it's a, it has a deeper spiritual significance in that. It, it, it's an actual earthly demonstration of what what God's doing in the spirit realm, in your spirit, by, by placing seed into you to birth something into the earth that never existed before, but existed in God, in the Father. Amen? Yes. That's why marriage between a man and a woman is, is so important to be preserved because it represents. You look at the book of Ephesians. He said, he said, he said, wise, you know, listen to your husband, submit to your husband, submit yourself to your husband. That was actually comes from, if you go back to, to the Hebrew, it's nasa, the word nasa. It's the same word when Jesus was lifted up. It means wise, nasa, your husband. Or that's what we're going to talk about. Last week we were on an armor bearer, Jonathan, an armor bearer. Uh, an armor bearer bears up, bears up supports. You know, when Jonathan said, remember Jonathan said, you know, let's go, you know, call these Philistines. You know, if they say come up to us, you know, you know, it's a bunch of people up there. But me and our armor bearer, we're going up there. We're going to, and they did. They overcame. Well, that armor bearer was in Nassau. 
his, his, he, he was his support. He, was, he had his back. Mm -hmm. He said, man, he said, he, he might have been saying, this, man, this is crazy for us to take on all these Philistines, but if you say so, and God spoke to you, I'm with you. Amen. Amen. And, and the Lord honored that, you know. That's a wonderful, that's a wonderful true story, you know. Are you following? Mm -hmm. So, so getting back to the sacredness of a man and a woman, that why marriage has to be, should be between a man and a woman. I'm not gay bashing nobody. I'm not bashing. I love, I love the gay people. I, I truly do. I'm not, I'm not bashing nobody. But I'm telling you right now, the instant I'm talking about the the marriage, the biblical marriage between a man and a woman, it represents what God does with the bride of Christ. Are you following me? Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not bashing nobody. You understand me? I'm not bashing. I, I've done dumb stuff, you know. You know. I don't look at me like that with such agreement. <laughs> but I'm just telling you, this is what it is. Somebody's got to just tell people it, it, without being without being condemning condemning people. I said this is just a way it works. Come on, man. If you if you have a if you're nailing a nail and you got a hammer and you keep busting your finger, and I'm coming along and telling you, look, what you need to do is take a little bit of thumb. <laughs> oh, I got a right to bash my phone if I want to. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. He's trying to help you. That's right. You know, not trying to, I'm not trying to bash you. I'm not trying to condemn you, the Lord. Well, it ain't gonna work. It's just not gonna work. Right. It's not gonna work. Right. You know, the, the Lord is not about condemning people and, and, and uh, putting them down. He's about showing what works. Amen. 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 Okay. Most of the stuff we do in life is not working right. because we're not listening. And if we listen, you got it work. Right. It work because God, God is <clears throat> truth. He, he's truth. Right. That means reality. It will work. Amen? Amen. Lord, preach the time. Praise God. Okay, for verse 23 says, For I received, the Apostle Paul says, For I received from the Lord that which I delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body. This is my body, which is for you. He took the, actually took the bread, the matzah, the unleavened bread, and he said, this is my body. It's pretty wild. He said, this is my body, it's, that, which is for, it's for you. Some of your translations say broken, and I know King James says broken for you, and that's become a tradition. But you know, that, that, <clears throat> you have to understand if you're going to be scriptural, one of the things prophesied about the Messiah that none of his bones would be broken. Amen. That's right. And certainly what they were. There's not one bone. He was beat up. He was, he was pierced through. But, but none of his bones were broken. So, so that's why I, I emphasize that to you because I, try, this mistry, some mistranslation is not in there. He says, he, this is my body given. Right, right. If, you, if you just take a little time to meditate on think on that, the difference between somebody giving you something and somebody breaking something for you. Mm -hmm. I believe King James did that in there just put a little, add a little guilt to it for people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? He broke his body for you! <laughs> you worm. I think I don't worm. Hey, that's another teaching. I'm a total. A total. The total worm. The total worm was a marvelous animal. Well, we won't talk about that. Uh, he, he said, this is my body which is for you. Do this, listen, do this in remembrance. You have to activate this spiritual technology. You have to 
do this in remembrance and hook it up with what Jesus did Amen. To, in the past to bring it into the present so that it will ensure your future. Right. You understand? Your memory has a special, specialized technology that when you remember what he did in the past, it brings it into the present to assure your future. He is the God that was and he is very important. He's the God that was and is and is to come. Everything in the realm of the heavens, everything has already been done. Including the future. You got to step into it. Step into it. You know, place, if you're not stepping into it, you're stepping out of it. It's the part when you step out of it that gives you the problems. Are you following me? That's where the word repentance comes into play. It means get back in the track. Turn back from wherever you wandered off to get back in the track. Are you following me? Because him that was and is and is to come is laid it out there for you. And when you get off and get distracted, I know how you get distracted. The world's all about distracting you. The flesh is all about distracting you. The devil, the, the, the adversary is all about distracting you away from the path that the Lord has laid for you. And he's very good at it, and our flesh is very cooperative with it. It doesn't take much to get us off. Hello? It doesn't take much to get us off. But it doesn't take much to get us back on there. It just, it's just simply repentance. Amen? You understand repentance? Amen. Get off your trip about repentance. You got to go beat yourself with whips and go down there and all this. Just a repentance means to change your mind. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Yes. I'm not even, repentance is very important. It's very important to repent, to learn how to repent. And I'm not talking about every time, well, uh, did I buy the wrong can of soup? Oh, God. Is that the one you want me to buy? Come on, I'm not talking about going around like some, you know, that's almost what verges on some kind of, we need to, you need to deliver some kind of either demon or <laughs> you got some kind of, I don't know. <laughs> you know, thank God, he, he trusts you enough to buy what kind of soup you want. You know? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know he, he cares about it. You go, go through the shop and go through the store praying in tongues. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave you right to that junk food. <laughs> no, I think it was your flesh. Amen. I'm not talking. I'm not making fun of light of that being about led by the Spirit. But come on, grow up, man. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. I mean, if you got a little bit, of, you got a little bit of two year old. You got to teach him what to. You got to. You may tell him what to eat. But when he's talking, at twenty something years old, that'll be able to feed yourself. Amen. Yes. All right. You advise them. You, can, you know they ain't gonna listen to you, but you can advise them. <laughs> When they get to be about 24 or so, maybe they'll start listening to you. Yeah. <clears throat> but from the time they're to become a teenager up until they're about 24, you're the stupidest person probably that ever existed. Right. Amen. And, when they, and then when they get out and get, like they go off to the military or something and they get a taste of real life, and come back, and I'm not saying in every case, all of a sudden you miraculously increased in your intellectual ability. Amen. So there's hope. I just like Stevie. See, when I first met Stevie, he was a kid. And my own cousin. <laughs> he took bread when he gave it, he broke it, and said, This is my body. Which is for you, do this reminds me in the same way you took the cup after also after supper, say this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this. New covenant, new deal. Old covenant's gone. This new covenant. I'm rushing in a new covenant in my blood. 
do this as often as often just do this as often as you drink it you know, as often as you drink in remembrance of me drink in remembrance of me drink in remembrance of me drink in think about it drink it in drink it in bring it in drink it in he's not just talking about just Chucking down a little cup of juice, he said, do the drink as often as you drink it. Drink the Holy Ghost in. Drink the Holy Ghost in. Drink the Spirit of God in. Drink, drink, drink from the river of life. Come on, come on. Y'all get with me. Come on. Drink from the river. Oh. Have you ever been saved? Have you ever been parched and thirsty and had just took in a good drink of water, man? Come on, just some good old plain water, just good sweet water, man. How good it was. You drank and it, yeah, come on. Yeah. And, and you can get that way spiritually. You can get that way. Jesus said as often as you remember, drink, drink in what I've done. Drink it in what I've done. And uh, this is a fact. I've been noticed this. I've watched this. This is not some kind of gimmick. I looked at the lives of, of what historically great, we call great men and women of God, people that did miraculous things. Things, I just give Wigglesworth did it. You know, others did it. But I just put him out. Maybe you might have Wigglesworth was. I mean, he got raised people from the dead. He had miraculous things. He was a, he, he, people considered him very harsh because he did some crazy stuff. You know, he hit people. And people would criticize. He says, "But it's not my fault that it's not my fault that they got between me and the devil." <laughs> That's what he actually said. That's my fault that you got between me and the devil. I was going after the devil, not them. That's right. But and there's others. But they had this one thing in common. It's not the only thing, but they all took communion every day. Now you could get you could get religious about that. I don't think it does you any good to do something religiously, but nevertheless, you can get yourself unreligious right quick. You know, just say, I'm doing this, come on, I'm getting I'm I'm doing this to honor the Lord. Amen. I'm doing this to, to, to drink in what he's done for me. I'm doing this because this is I am activating a techn a technology. I got a technology. <laughs> a te oh. No, I don't want to walk through there. <laughs> I disappeared. <laughs> what was the same? Technology. Thank you. Thank God so much staying sober. We have a designated driver. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> he want to do that. He want to get on me in, in his lunch. I don't know. This is what I'm like. This is not what I do. This is not. Drink it in. He said, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim. You proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Or you proclaim the fact that Jesus lived and he died. Amen. Amen. He died for you. Now we know Amen. he was raised from the dead, but I'll tell you his death's very important too. Amen. Amen. He took death for you. Uh, <clears throat> therefore, listen, therefore, listen. This is the part he's keying on. Therefore, whoever eats the bread and drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy, say unworthy, unworthy. manner. What would, how, would, how could you explain unworthy? You're not thinking about what you're doing. You're not present. You're not focusing on what what did, what this deal is. You know, most of most of go through life just like you know. Ninety-five percent of your life is is subconscious. That means you're not conscious of it. No, and, and you have five percent of consciousness, and then most of us don't use about half of that, if if that much. Amen? That means you're not, consciousness is your present of what is happening right now. Right now in your life. You're conscious of it. So most people live in the future. Now listen to me. You live in the future. You're thinking about what you're going to do tomorrow or the next day. And you literally, you don't realize you're there. And you're not here. I mean, God tells us is always here. He is I am. He's not I will be. He's not I was. Amen. Although he 
He's the same. He's the same yesterday, today, forever. But he is I am. That's what God would mean. I am that I am. I am. So if you're up there, you're not in, in with him here. Or you're, or, or you're back there in your past, in your victimization, or even in your glory times. You know, when you were, you know, a high school cheerleader or whatever. You're back there, but you're not here. He wants you to be here. He Amen. wants you to be present Amen. because he can work in the present. Amen. He can work in the present. Yes. He has a future for you. That's right. He's, he's accounting. He's accounting. And there's an account of the past. There is. Don't forget it. That is. That you better get to work. Just do some blood. Put some blood on some of that stuff. Get rid of it. But you know what there? Oh, shaka. But he's here. Yeah. He's here. Yeah. He's yeah. here. Be present. Don't be off, off somewhere else. You, when you worry, you're thinking about the future. Right. And you're, you're taking God out of the, you're out of the picture. Right. Stop and stop. You say, listen, you're right now, you know what? In the natural, maybe I don't have any money. Maybe I don't have this or this or this or this. But I am breathing. I am alive. Yeah. God's in me. Yeah. God loves me. His angels are surrounding me. Yeah. Whoa! I'm in Him and He's in me right now. Yeah. Right now. So right now I can be in paradise right yeah. now. I can be in the heavenly realm right now. I ain't got to wait to go to heaven in the future. I ain't got to think about what happened in the past. Right. I am here now. I'm telling you, oh, 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 stop it. <laughs> it's better than a shot of Jack Daniels. Hit on a joint or anything I've ever had. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus. I just learned something. I'm going to just stop me something. Oh, if you can did you make yourself that I'm preaching. And so you know, it's easier for me to do it now because the Lord is here and the angels have to be out there, big angels look. Well, I'll do this tonight. <laughs> you know, I'm by myself and I'm tired. Oh yeah. Come on. Now say it now. 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 Faith is now. Yeah. <laughs> you just take him right on in the picture. We're going to do it. I'll finish it. Okay, God. Therefore, he says, in an unworthy manner, be present when you're eating this stuff. Shall be guilty of the body and the blood of Jesus. Not a good thing. What does that mean guilty of? It means, I don't mean, it ain't good. <laughs> But a, per, a man or mankind, man, woman, must examine themselves, and in doing so, is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. Examine, check yourself out. All right, just check yourself. Are you are you present? Right. Yes. That's what he's talking about. Examine yourself. Are you living in your past sins? I know people that will not take. I've seen them. They will not take communion because they've got so much. They've done it. They think they've done it. They don't realize God's forgiven them. They've not received forgiveness and they will not take. I've seen them. In this very church, they will not ask why. Oh, I'm just too, you know, I'm too bad. I've done so much stuff. I said, that's what this whole deal is about. It's the blood that makes you righteous. Yep. Amen. Amen. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Some lady yesterday, we haven't talked about enough. God bless her. She said, you know, she, she wouldn't come to, asked to come to church. She said, well, I'm scared to come to church. I might say something. Because she had a problem with it with profanity. You know, and I wasn't there. So I don't know. I just said, well, hell, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 Oh, oh. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, the room. I'm not, I'm not advocating. Come on, give me a word. Right. I'm not advocating, but you could. Great. If you wanted to get cleaned up to come in 
to the kingdom, ain't none of us going to go in. That's right. I mean, he's got to do the cleaning. Yes. I'm not greasy grace sliding in. Come on. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about putting some faith in the blood. Yeah. yeah. I'm not talking about, oh, well, let's take care of it. I can't worry about it. I can't worry No, baby. I know when I screw up. I know when the blood does. And I know the power of the blood. Amen. And do not take it lightly. Amen. Because this man Jesus, God man Jesus, went through some stuff to shed that blood for us, to cleanse us from this sin that does so easily beset us. But I thank God I don't have to walk around beat up and condemned and shamed. Amen. I just got to go out and walk around honest. Yeah. I screwed up. I messed up. God, I, 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 I appropriate what you did for me. I'm sorry I, I abused it without thinking or whatever, or, or did it on whatever. But thank God you're merciful. Yeah. For the, yeah. Yahweh is good and His mercy endures forever. For the Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. For the Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for it. Amen. Yes. So like he said, this is, but whoever eats or drinks <coughs> and drinks judgment to himself and does not rightly judge the body, does not judge the body rightly. And sadly, he says, for this reason, many of you are weak, sick, and, and number sleep. The word sleep is actually dead. dead. But if we judge ourselves rightly, we would not be judged. The only person you got business judging is yourself. That's right. right. You follow me? Judge yourself. Before you just before you see you stretch out. Now, now you need to learn learn about judgment because you're gonna judge angels. You're gonna judge angels. Say that you're gonna judge angels. Apostle Paul said that. He said, he said, he, he was correcting the church, said, y'all are going outside the church to deal with issues that you shouldn't be dealing with in the church. He said, don't you know that you need to learn, get your act together, you're training right now, because one of these days you're going to judge angels. That's right. And I have seen angels. Mm -hmm. And I, something's going to have to happen. Because, <laughs> you know, big boy. <laughs> Huh? <coughs> but you learn to judge, judge yourself. That just means examine yourself. That means you got right there. You get right there while I'm talking. Start just judging yourself. Say, oh, and what he's talking about mainly is discerning the body. That's right. And there's two schools of this. I come out of Word of Faith. They talk. They talk. They talk about. It. And I, I talk. I talk that he's making a distinction between the body and what Jesus did with his body what he did with his blood. His body was for your healing, his blood for forgiveness of sin. Mm -hmm. I could I could say a point in that. I could see that. But also there's a there's another school of thought that says well Paul was actually dealing with the deal in context, he was dealing with the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. He said that you're not you're not doing each other right. Yeah. You're mistreating one another. That's you're right. talking, you know, because he starts that little bit when they'd have their love feast. You know, people were grabbing more than their share and pushing hungry poor people away and stuff like that. He said, man, don't you know you're treating, that's the body of Christ you're treating. If you, if you literally look at one another and see Jesus, you, you, you act differently towards one another. Amen. Now, now take that to thought. If you look at, if you look at one another and just and see Jesus, but the Apostle Paul said, I, now he said the Corinthians, he said, I no longer know any man after the flesh. Not even Jesus. He said, he's not even looking at Jesus the way he was when he was in his earth so pre-resurrection. He said, he said, I don't know anymore. You know, when he, when he, know, when he, means when he looked at them, he began to perceive them in a different light. He had seen the Spirit, who, who they are in the Spirit, and then, and then treat them accordingly, getting past all that nasty flesh. I thought about this morning, I said, Jesus, I know, 
You want me to look at people like 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 you're in them that you are, that like treat them like I treat you. He says, but sometimes I have to get past a lot of a lot of garbage to get to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what the face for. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So he says, because you're refusing to do that and you're acting like jackasses um, with, among each other. Listen, uh, can, you, can you give me five minutes? I'm going to take it anyway. But anyway. <laughs> let's, let's look at this. What's, what is the purpose of a local church? You can listen, you can go on YouTube. I do it all the time. There's some good preachers on there. I mean, they, I ain't, I'm no fool. I know these guys, they, can, they got stuff that I ain't got, right? It ain't about that. Right. If you don't come together in a local body and work out your stuff, and believe me, honey, it ain't about them working out their stuff. It's about you working out your stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got me. It may work it out my stuff. Believe me. <laughs> working out. Y'all can stay home. <laughs> work out your stuff. You say, well, I don't want to go to that church because I don't like this, or I don't like that person. I don't come on, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up on your front front porch, come in your house. I don't like that person. They don't. I don't like their style. I don't like this. Or I don't like, that's your problem. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's, right. that's your problem. That's, right. that's my problem. I, you know, for years I looked for the perfect church, and and if I'd have found one, if I could have found one, and this, you've heard this point, some of say this before. If, if I'd have found the perfect church, as soon as I walked in the dang door, it's been screwed up. So what, come on, what makes you, I mean, don't creak a deal. It's God working out your salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah. What's that? You're scared to death and you're going to make a mistake? No, in the awesome presence of Almighty God. You say, well, there's no presence of God. Well, because I'm talking to these people, there's presence here. I'm talking to people out there, maybe they don't go to church. Maybe they left church because they said, oh, there's no presence of God there. Or there's no this or that, that. Well, come on, by God, you bring the presence. Amen. Right. Amen. Quit, quit, quit expecting somebody else to be God for you. That's right. Come on, you bring God with you. Amen. You fill the room with the presence. Yeah. Well, Rebecca said that. He says, if the Holy Ghost don't move, I move the Holy Ghost. Oh, 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 it's not the best to believe, brother. No, what he's saying is, he says, the Holy Spirit's already, always ready to move. He's just, walk, he's just waiting for somebody to move out in faith right. and, ta and take the chance. Amen. You know, every time, I, I can tell you this right now, every time I've ever stepped out in faith <laughs> and, and uh, in fear and trembling, <coughs> the Holy Spirit backed me up. That's right. He might not have done what I want him to do, but he was there, always there. Amen. That's right. And I, I, it's a lot to be said for that, for somebody that's, that's shy. And, and, and be, a bunch of people freak them out. All right? We won't be honest and believe that, but that's true. I mean, I, I, have, I, I don't like to run much people, man. It freaks me out. <laughs> so I'm standing up here talking to you. <laughs> I have to step out and fight. I have to step out and fight. Say, Lord, I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> go. <laughs> go with me. I'll go. And I'm no different. I'm no different than you or anything else. In some area of your life, you got to do the going, and he'll do the coming, and he'll do the showing up. Come on, get the stuff. I'll preach all day. Come on, someone help me get the stuff. Get the precious. So judge yourself. 
I mean, we're going to pass out in here, baby. Come on, we should ask for help. At least it's another person. Uh, we're about to take the, you know, we're, we'll be signing off here. Uh, we're take, 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 I don't know why. You know, I was up there kind of guilty about I was getting a nice big cup. Let's start out there. Let's, and I want you to know, Pamela did it again. She got up at 9, up to 9 30. She said, we, I said, Do we have any bread for community? She says, I'll make some. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. When my grandson said, daughter said, Make the puppy bread next time. <laughs> <laughs> wait to, that's why the Jews used our leavened bread because they didn't have time for it to rise. Right. <laughs> so this is real. This is last minute, not baked at 9 30. Exodus blood <laughs> stuff. Amen. <laughs> Whoa. The Lord's good, His mercy is yours forever. Amen. 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 You say that to yourself. The Lord's good. The Lord is good. mercy is yours forever. He's good to me. Good His mercy towards me. His mercy towards me. forever. Mercy. Father, I just pray. I pray. I'm going to pray right now over this bread yes. and this, this yes. juice, this wine, Father. Yes. And we thank you that by faith right now, we thank you for uh, the technology of heaven, Father God, tra yes. translating this into the body and the blood of the Lord Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Thank you. By faith. The faith in the realm of the Spirit, Lord. We take this bread, Lord, that was given for us. We give thanks for it. Uh, we thank you. Say, I thank you for Jesus. I thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the body of the Messiah. Thank you for the body of the Messiah. We thank you for giving for me. You're given for me. And thank you, right? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Y'all all set? Yeah, go ahead and take the take the to receive the body of Christ. Mm. Mm. That's it. Beat you on now. And it goes down into your innermost part. It's taking healing right now. Yes. Healing. Because you're incorporating the body of Jesus. You had no sickness, no disease, incorporating that into your body and restructuring your DNA, restructuring your cell structures. <clears throat> Every fiber of your being right now, in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, driving out every sickness, every disease, every mild normal, thought going even going into your brain cells and to the neurons of your of your your physical brain the synapses of your brain right now i speak healing yes. for depression i speak healing right now for uh, obsessive compulsive behavior i speak healing right now in the blood the blood cleanses right now Bipolar right now. Father, in Jesus' name, I'm asking you. I'm thanking you. I'm decreeing. No, I'm not asking. I think you've already done it. We decree it right yes, now. Decree it now. The bipolar disease no. is destroyed. Yes. In the name of Jesus, you're rearranging the, the polarity in people's brain. Yes. People that are suffering from homosexuality, Father God, the, where the poles of their brain have been shifted, Father God. Yes. By the enemy, Father, I speak right now that right now those poles be uh, aligned, aligned properly right now. That yes. they will know they'll they'll identify with their own who who you who you, who they were born their bodies, Father God. They'll identify with their bodies. They won't identify with the, another sex, yes. Father God. They'll identify by your mercies, Father. It's for your mercies and your grace, Father God. Thank you, Lord. We're talking about stuff the devil did to people, Father God. Yeah. 
And you came want me, Jesus, you came to destroy the works of the devil. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Father, I thank you right now those with cancer in Jesus' name. Yes. No longer does it belong to them. Jesus took their cancer. Yes. Cancer, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. Yes. Speak to you, command you to die, to dry up you. every tumor, every tumor go yes. right now in the name yes. of the Lord Jesus yes. Christ. Speak to heart conditions right now. I, yes. I speak as a sign and a wonder, Father. We speak to hearts to be yes. healed. Yes. Valves to be uh, opened up, yes. unclogged, Father yes. God, right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, strokes now. Come against the spirit of strokes right now. We say right now, strokes be healed. Even now, healed in Jesus' name. Bodies be restored to normal function in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But the, in the name of Yeshua, yes. Hamashiach, the yes. Messiah, now we speak yes. the mighty name. Yes. We loose the angels of Almighty God and go forth. Yes. We go for that fiery, fiery yes. angel. Go right now. Be dispatched yes. right now. We speak yes. to you. Go right now. Burn out that. Burn out the disease. Burn out. Burn out. Yes. Burn out. Yes. In Jesus' yes. name. Fire. Heat of God. Come right yes. now. Fire the Holy Spirit right now. Burning out every impurity, every toxin, every disease, every, every uh, technology to place in bodies right now. Just not of God. By the authority of the name of Jesus and the covenant of God in Jesus' name. The Father, we take the cup. He yes. said, this is the cup of the new covenant yes. in your blood. The new, the new deal, Lord, we Thank forgive you. our sins, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Open up the voice of God to us, Father. By yes. the blood of Jesus. Yes, Father. Thank you for your precious blood, Lord. Your precious blood. So we lift our cups right down to you. Yes, yes. And thank you, Lord. As we drink in, we drink in. Yes, Lord. The cleansing power of your forgiveness yes. of every sin, past, present, yes. future, Father. Yes. There's, there's provision in the name of Jesus. Yes. The blood of Jesus yes. right now. And we say this, we are servants of the King. Servants of the King. We raise our cup to the King. To the King. To the King. The King of glory. Come in. In Jesus' name. to shine upon you. You will have all that. You be grace. Yes. You will have all that. Shalom come upon you. Yes. And your family. Yes. In the name of Yeshua. In the name of Jesus. I pray right now. God bless you. In your house. Amen. 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 Amen.